Since my Real Master install video, I've been asked a few questions and to do some more videos. This is the first of them, and I have a few more still to come uh, with adding locos and programming locos using Real Master. So, this is the first one, which is installing Real Master on Windows XP. Windows XP is slightly different to the later versions of Windows. Uh, all the screens say roughly the same thing, um, but there is some slight differences. What I need to say about Windows XP is this is an obsolete operating system and was no, is no longer supported by Microsoft. Um, Windows XP that I have here is a fresh install. It has no updates, no security on it, um, and that's why I've got some warnings here. Um, I've just done this to get Windows XP on and video up quite quickly. If you are still using Windows XP, you do need to be very careful with what you use it for. Um, the security loopholes that have that are there have been there now since 2014 and do mean that any financial information, any online shopping you do, anything like that that's done on Windows XP can be exploited by malware and security bugs which are there and have now been there for a long time. So people do um, take advantage of that. So in saying that though, Windows XP do, does still have its place and has its place specifically for things like running Real Master where you're not using the internet. All you're doing is you need a computer which has Windows on it. And you can pick up some really cheap little old laptops or net tops or little desktops and, and monitors which are perfect for running the model railway software because they're, they're light and they're, they're quite cheap. Um, and in this hobby, things are quite expensive, so it's nice to have something you can fall back on. Um, I've got this installed on what's known as a virtual machine, so this is not an, a real PC I'm on. This is just a, a, an install which I can use to demonstrate things. So first thing we need to do is install Real Master, and what you'll see is virtually the same thing that we saw on Windows 10 in the other video. So Again, we've got the security warning with the unknown publisher, um, and I know I've downloaded this from the, the correct place. Um, and again, this is one way that uh, people can get around the loopholes. Because they know what all the, the publishers now are, they can they can spoof the publisher. So if, if it doesn't say unknown publisher, and it says something strange, then you've not got a, a good copy of Real Master. Um, most people should be installing this from the CD or um, downloaded directly from the link provided on the Hornby website. So uh, we should be fairly safe with, with the Real Master setup. So we'll click Run and again we'll go through the setup. And we'll do, choose English and Next. And accept the license. Install it to Real Master and we'll just do the same options that we did for the original setup. And we'll click Next. Again, I am not speeding this up. This is going to be real time. I want to show you this happening as it happens. So there we go, that's Real Master now installed. We've got all the icons that we expect and um, we'll click finish. So now I'm going to connect my e-link and because I'm running a virtual machine, I am getting uh, another warning um, message. This you will not see this, and I want to connect this to my uh, virtual Windows. So as you can see here, we're, we've got a microchip um, RS232, which is a serial port, and we'll click Connect to Windows. And now this has found that driver, and what we'll do is we'll we'll search for it and install automatically now this can take some time and it didn't find it so let's go into e-link and elite driver guide so we do have a problem that's because we've got no driver for this so we'll go down and So 
here we go, Windows XP driver installation. So all this information that I'm, I'm giving you here is all in these, these books. Okay, so it's telling us to go to advanced, then go into the real master folder, or you can download from the site. So we'll do as it says, and again, um, to get into that menu, we'll go the long way around. So we'll go start, control panel, and I don't like this view, um, so I always click switch to the classic view. So if you've got this view, um, I would recommend just click switch to, to classic view, and then we want to go into system. Once we're in system, we'll go to the hardware tab, and then click device manager. And you'll notice that this list is exactly the same as what we've got on Windows 10. Nothing has changed in Windows in the background. So what we'll do here is we'll right click on here and then we'll go um, update driver. Okay, so now we'll install from an advanced location and then we will click on include the specific location that we're told to, which is on C, program files, real master drivers so in this box we should expect to see C program files real master drivers that's what's known as the path and that's exactly how we got there and we'll click next now we know it's not going to find it on the internet and now it's found the USB serial driver that's exactly what we would expect to see and what we should now see is the question mark will disappear and we've got USB serial port on COM3 so we now know what our COM port is if you don't know what your COM port is and I didn't do this in the Windows 10 video if, you're strong, if you've got five or six COM ports uh, which you may have, you may have built-in COM ports all you need to do to test is unplug the e-link and you'll see that one of them disappears so we know that COM1 is not the e-link and we'll plug the e-link back in and it will then put USB serial port on COM port 3. So we know that the e-link is COM port 3. So now we can close all of that and now we go back into the configuration that we had for Real Master in the, the previous video. So as you can see Everything I did in the previous video for installing Real Mass is exactly the same process. The screens are slightly different, but we will we will get there. So what we'll do is we'll now open up Real Master and screen resolution is not right for it. So we're not setting up a train set, we're setting up with e-link and then we'll click OK. Right, so again, we're checking for updates. It's not going to find any updates this time around. We know that. Could not find on COM1 because it's not on COM1. Okay, so again, we're, we're on the trial version. Because I've got this activated on the other one, I'm not going to uh, activate this one. And we'll click yes. There's a new version of real news for real master. I don't want to do that now. If you want to, click the check and it will open that up for you. Now, when this opened, again we got that security warning. So you can see down here we've, we've got the Windows security alert. And we don't want that. And now we want to do this security alert. And we need to unblock. And that's just the same as the firewall that we had, where we had the two options for uh, local and the external networks. So that's that's that option. And as you saw, that was slightly different. So now that we've loaded that once, what I want to do is I actually want to close this. And I want to do the update.
So we know that there's an update there. We found that the last time that there's definitely an update to Real Master Software. And as you can see, a free update to 1.67. So we'll do that. And again, this is all real time. I am not going to speed this up. And as before, it stops at block one. Um, it, this is probably because it doesn't know how big the file is. So it can't judge how to divide the progress bar into its little sections. And there we go. So we'll click next here and it automatically closes Real Master. Just let that happen and then we'll go through the setup again. Just takes a few minutes out of the, the, the time to actually do it. But as I, as I say to everyone, if there's a software update, I would recommend you do it. Most so software companies put a reversal um, method into the software update. So if it fails, it will revert back and won't break anything. We'll finish that. And now we know the real master is up to date. We can start setting things up. So there's no more updates for this. Okay. So this time round, I'm going to show you a shortcut to getting to the control panel and into the device manager properties. So what we'll do is, if you've got my computer on your desktop, you can right click it and do exactly the same process. But I don't because there's a fresh install of Windows and I've made no customizations. So we'll click start and you can see you've got a my computer icon here. Anywhere on this blue bar we want to right click and then click on properties. And you see you've got the system properties window. This is how we got we got this the last time by going start, control panel, view all and then clicking on system. This time around we've, we've gone the shortcut. So now we want to click on hardware and device manager. Comports and LPT, we want to expand that and then find your e-link or your select plus or your uh, whatever you're using the real master with. And we want to right click on this because we know that COM port 3 is our um, device of choice and click properties or double click. And we want to go again to port settings. Okay, so port settings and we've got these open in our tabs. So, sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing there. And what you want to do is you want to move Real Master out the way just enough so you can see this, this window to click on it. Um, if you have to, you can, you can just shift it over. So now we want to click on the, the cog and that loads our system settings. So now we know it's not COM3, so we, we want to select our E link we want to change to com3 and that's the only change that we want to make on the real master software is all we want to do is to make it the right com port and the right device all the other changes we want to make to the serial connection so baud rate we want that in this box to be 115200 to match data bits, data bits, 8, party, parity, party, however you want to call that, we want to make sure that that is none. Stop bits is 1 and there's no other one for the other, the, the flow rate, we just want to ignore that. We click OK there and then we click the check box here. Now that now that we've changed the serial settings and we've made real master match the serial, we should be able to now communicate to the e-link. 
and as you can see the status now flashed that means that we have this connected and if I go back into settings our e-link is now no longer red so that is how you set up Real Master with the e-link um, if you're using the another controller you use your other the other controller so your elite um, and there is a version of the select which can also communicate uh, with real master and this version doesn't have that loaded but you would do exactly the same you want to make sure you com port settings are all correct and the same if you've got a second controller you want to make sure that your com port settings are all the same um, I always use the Hornby settings because that is what RealMass is expecting your system settings to be. So I would always check. So we've also got down here DCC controller version. is 1.07. Railmaster keeps your controller up to date, just like the software updates. If there's a controller update, when you start e the Railmaster, the e-link will be updated to the latest firmware, some firmware version. And I believe that the Elite will also update through this. Um, I've seen some videos of people struggling with the update. Um, I would recommend using Railmaster because it can manage it all for you. So I hope that helps anyone who's using Windows XP to run RailMaster. If anyone's got any other, other issues running it on Windows Vista or Windows 7, please let me know and I can do a similar video for, for each. Um, however, this, this install and the install for Windows 10, you can see the similarities and they are very similar. Um, so as you can see, everything is now working and I'm happy. So again, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments um, on this video or the one for Windows 10, if you leave the comments for Windows XP in the, the, the message below this video, and if you've got any questions on Windows 10, leave it on the other video so that I know that you're asking about Windows XP or Windows 10. Um, and then that, that will keep me happy. But any questions do let me know and please hit the thumbs up.